This training was about emergency assistance. That means we have a third person who is pushed against the wall and is beaten up or is attacked with a knife. We have some police officers and also correctional officers in our training and they have on duty guidelines as to what they can or cannot use. Here we have responded with a baton and we have tried to avoid choking techniques for the most part. So, first idea would be, of course, we hit the attacker on the head with the baton or we attack the back. However, this is not necessarily so opportune in all situations, especially in police situations or when witnesses are filming. <clears throat> so, first idea would be we go here over the shin and we make a kind of a sankakushime, a triangle choke on the shin. It's very painful, as you hear. And I give him a command that he should lay down. Ah. And I can still secure him like that. Just put the baton on my thighs and still can press. And it's very unpleasant, as you can hear from Michael. This is one first simple opportunity. So we change the partner. So, other possibility we go like this, we put the baton through the legs over both thighs and pull him back. So, <laughs> so he doesn't like the idea that I do it again. Basically I just pull both legs back, he's falling okay. under the face, so train that carefully. And here I can use the baton and still compress the thigh or can overstretch his knee. Do this careful. Okay, try that like it. <laughs> <laughs> Other possibility is to use the tip of the baton. So what I do, I attack the clavicle. The collarbone. I also can go behind it. There are a lot of nerves running through. And then of course I can also go into a, a, a choking technique, but police is not allowed to do that in Germany. But what I can do is this, for example, and then secure him on the arm and do a takedown, like that. Basically the same choke hold, so to say, on the arm and can secure him like that and have him down. This is allowed to do. So I go with the tip against the clavicle from the front or I go into the clavicle notch behind it and of course I go into uh, I can also do it across the face when he holds his chin very deep and I cannot go into the uh, neck. I use the face just. Next idea, I step his back with the baton, with the tip of it, and pull him back and go into a takedown. So this is not more meant as a joke, but <laughs> also worth trying maybe. Next idea. So a total different approach is to push violently the attacker against his victim and then pull on the legs and because this brings him totally out of control, out of his uh, balance and I can just take control on him. So I can pull him but better is maybe to just crash into him and then I do again that pull on the legs and bring him down. Also possible maybe when he has a knife because when I bring him to the opponent he cannot step so good anymore. When I pull him back he still can do something. <laughs> 